Thank you to Sunseeker for sponsoring this video. Look outside, chances are anywhere you are, it is beautiful and warm and you can hear birds chirping. Spring is here. All the wonderful things of spring. The unwonderful side is that while you're outside, if you happen to have a lawn or anything that requires maintenance, it is expensive and a pain. But fortunately, technology is here to step in and take care of all the heavy lifting for you and robots don't ask for payment at the end. Meet the Sunseeker Orion X7. Before I tell you everything that this robot lawnmower can do, let me thank you for being awesome, good, kind humans to yourself and each other, support the channel all these years, and give you a chance to win $500. Super easy, leave a comment down below, tell me a joke, a fact about yourself, what you would do with the Sunseeker Orion X7. Be sure to leave your social handle, or if I click on your YouTube page, make sure there's a way to contact you there, let you know if you won. Open to anyone in the world, let it run for 10 days. Also, give the video a thumbs up while you're down there. Uh, I won't be mad at you. So if I'm gonna use something like this, there are a few things it's gotta be good at. And first of all, it's gotta save me time. I need to do the job well, and it needs to be easy to set up. Unfortunately, the Orion X7, you can just check out those boxes because it does all of them with great alacrity. So robot lawnmowers like this are not new, but the X7 takes the latest technology and packs it inside to make it the easiest, most efficient mow you can get. And you might be laughing to yourself, like John, why would I need a robot lawnmower? And to anybody out there that spent hours mowing a lawn, you know why exactly you would want a robot lawnmower. And you want it because of the hardware that's in there. So this thing is made with an all wheel drive system built in so it can tackle the most terrain out there, the different types of terrain. There are rugged tires built in too, so it's gonna go like up a hill or encounter some dirt. Uh, it shouldn't skip a beat. It can also cover slopes up to 35 degrees, so it's able to do its job in a variety of landscapes and terrains, uh, which is awesome. Uh, it's also a wireless mower. Now when you look at it, it probably might seem obvious that it's wireless, uh, but a ton of robot lawnmowers uh, in the past, and these are automatic robot lawnmowers, required you to run a perimeter wire around the area that you wanted to mow. And you have to bury that wire so it's out of the way. That method, it worked, took a lot away from the ease of setup, but with the X7, there ain't no wires here. Use its own built-in smarts to navigate and mow your lawn. So it does this with two ways. So first is with always on navigation, and the second is with positioning system. So it's using, they're calling RTK GNSS. It's a real-time kinematic satellite positioning and onboard VSLAM. I just like saying VSLAM. It really stands for Virtual Simultaneous Localization and Mapping it took me a long time to memorize, I'm proud I can get that out. Uh, visual technology to deliver centimeter precision for positioning. It uses deep learning algorithms and a binocular camera system to look around the world and navigate it efficiently. And with that deep learning, it continuously gathers data about your landscape and learns to make the mapping and navigation even better to avoid any obstacles. If you got a you know, boulder or a stump, it'll learn where that boulder or stump is and mow around it. And all those smarts are great. But obviously it's also got to like mow your lawn. Unfortunately, it does that very well. So it's using dual cutting plates so you can mow faster, more efficiently. It's two times more efficient compared to regular mowers. And also there's precise height adjustment from 0.8 inches all the way to four inches. So like whatever look you're looking for, but you can get. Uh, and you also have full control when and how the robot does its mowing. So with the app, you can control schedule, set up boundaries or no-go zones. You can control the mower yourself there too. But the mower also has IPX5 water resistance, so it can stay outside. Don't have to worry about sprinklers or rain. If you need to clean it, you can just like hose the thing down. So all that talk is one thing. Yeah, grass, and the grass has to be made shorter. This is how you're gonna set it up. So you use this GPS, so you're gonna make sure it knows where everything is. You need to set up this pole. Uh, and it's a pretty simple setup here. It comes with everything you need. First thing, gotta make sure you got direct line of sight. Make sure there's no obstruction to the sky. Uh, it is going to need power, so bear that on mind however you wanna power it at your house. To get a little bit technical, it's AO Navi is a combo of RTK and VSLAM technology, and Sunseeker is the first to use both. So just know, all that technology boils down to knowing GPS is gonna be really good here, uh, and Sunseeker is using some cutting edge technology to make that happen. All right, so when you open your box for your Orion X7, uh, they made it really simple. So you're going to have your dock, your navigation set up, and of course, your Orion X7. If you set anything up in the past like 10 years, you know exactly how it's gonna work. You're gonna download an app, 
and the app is gonna make it really simple to get things set up and working, uh, which is nice. Once you have this set up though, you wanna tell the robot where you want it to mow. Uh, and this is probably my favorite part of the process because you get to play a little remote control car action here and get the robot to go where you want. So I'm gonna create a perimeter right here. Let's get it moving, a little perimeter action. And just a reminder too, you don't need a perimeter wire here at all to do this, making this whole setup, uh, I think for overall really unique. Most things you gotta set up a perimeter wire, you gotta bury it, uh, not here with Sunseeker. So perimeter's all done, we gotta map this grass, and then we're done. And you can look, you can see it mowing, you can see it's not missed any area here as it goes and creates those mow patterns. That's the benefit of having incredible technology which is going to give you really accurate uh, mowing at the end of the day. This thing can mow up to 70% slopes too, so whatever terrain you have, uh, chances are the Orion X7 can handle it. So there's obviously like a lot of stuff packed into the Sunseeker Orion X7. There's a lot of technology, uh, but it does some stuff that you might not expect. So like, what if you've got it set to mow your lawn and rain starts happening, right? You don't want your mower mowing wet grass. Uh, it's got you covered. It's got auto rain detection. But what about like running out of battery too? It's also got auto recharge. Uh, and also you're outside, your Wi-Fi might not typically reach there. It's got super Wi-Fi built in to make sure you're not, never going to be in a dead zone. You're also gonna get multi-zone management and settings there, precision height adjustments, so you can adjust how high or low you want your grass cut. And I am filming right next to this thing, and it is not that loud, especially when you compare it to the noise of a regular motor. This is not gonna wake your neighbors up at 5 a.m. on the weekend. But what matters with all that technology is how it's gonna cut the grass. So I can very easily show you that. So the first thing, keep in mind, uh, there's no bag. So you are gonna have the trimmings, but that does allow me to show you how much this is actually cutting. And you can see it where it's been versus where it hasn't gone yet. Uh, if we can get down low to the grass, it's doing an incredible job. You can see the amount that's being cut here. I mean, huge, huge, huge amount of grass uh, being cut. So right here, this is happening. Imagine yourself still in bed not having to be out there pushing a mower, riding a mower. Imagine yourself having a cold beverage of your choice while the mower is doing all the hard work for you. Uh, that's the beauty of what Sunseeker has done here with the Orion X7. And I understand not everybody out there in the world like is looking for a robot mower. But if you are looking for a robot mower, you know how much time, effort, and hassle this thing will save you. My parents used to have me mow the lawn. They wanted me to do it every weekend. I didn't. It wasn't even a powered mower. I used to have to go out and like push this thing over the grass. It would take me hours and it hurt my back. Um, so anybody that's born now, be thankful for technology and robot mowers. And what Sunseeker's done is kind of built on the legacy of, of robots in the past. All the pain points that those used to give you are now done. This is literally set it and be done and come back to a beautifully manicured, beautifully mowed lawn that you didn't have to do yourself. And for me, that is an incredible use case and use of technology. If you want to learn more about Sunseeker or the Orion X7, all the links you need will be down below.